Hi, this is Rob. I just wanted to send a video of what's going on um, with the the uploading of songs to cloud. Um, I've uploaded other songs and they've worked great. Um, I actually purchased uh, these two here, Doxology and Jesus Paid It All from Loop Community and it works great. So, uh, but then I purchased these pads from, gosh, I think it was Worship Tutorials. Uh, yeah, I purchased these pads from Worship Tutorials and I'll, the process that I, that I do um, to load them is basically, you know, I, I create uh, um, a compressed file, a zip file, and then I just drop them in here and um, it, you know, it uploads. And then every time I, I do it, it, it comes back with this error message. Um, I even have a, a, the ability, you know, through iSkySoft, iSkysoft. <laughs> I media converter to convert it to WAV files. These come down as uh, MP3s. So I tried converting it to MP3 um, on the last one I did that here today. And it's, or no, I converted it to WAV from MP3 and it's still, it's still not working. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure what to do here differently than um, what, what I've been doing. So I'll go through the process. I'll name this um, a pad. Uh, uh, doesn't like that. A a pad, and I even change it to a so it shows that. And then you know, hit next. Um, and it's an original song. I don't you know I don't. I keep it as that. It doesn't have a click because it's not it's not going to be a stereo track. It's just a pad. I just want to play between songs, so uh, so that there's really there's no downtime in terms of music being played. And I, I have another way of doing this, but I wanted to try and work it with this. Um, you know, with the keyboard we do pads, but uh, I kind of wanted to keep it seamless with this. Allow people to transition with their music. Um, so I hit save, um, and uh, so it'll just do this for quite a while, um, and I'll leave it there like that. So, uh, so there's that, and there's one other thing I wanted to to ask you guys. If you, I may be the only person that ever you know threw out this suggestion, but last night um, we have your love awakens me. And for whatever reason, the click track that comes with um, this, um, which is this, um, I don't have a problem with it. But for some reason, the team I played with last night, they could not get it. So um, I used the click track that you guys made through your software and playback, which is this, which has kind of a... Um, kind of a hi-hat sound between the clicks and for some reason that just was a lot easier for them to follow so I guess my question is if there's any a way to to be able to customize the click tracks within the multi tracks that that would just be so huge um, to where you know we're getting rid of the eighth note um, on the click so Running just a quarter note that just for them helped them, or just having the different sound on the on the uh, upbeat um, that for some whatever reason that helped a lot. <laughs> so anyhow, that that's that was my second question. But the main thing is I just really want to try and get this. Um, oh, I even just so you know I I did follow this and, and it's still still not doing it. I didn't quite know why to I need to delete the app. Um, on my um, iPad because I'm just I'm loading it from my computer here you know I, I can try that though you know deleting the app and reinstalling it I did I do have the most current um, playback uh, so it's a uh, version 4.6.4 .4, and um, it has a number next to it number 3173 I'm not sure what that means but anyhow um, so th that's the process I've, I've gone through, and for, for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem to work. Um, 
So greatly appreciate your help with this. Um, if you could uh, call me or email me suggestions, a call it might be better um, so that it's not taking forever to go back and forth with suggestions. Um, that would greatly help me. Okay, thank you.